Hey, here we go. Um, yeah, I'm doing the whole 50 question thing. And this is like take four because I've done three other takes. And um, I either ran out of battery room, the battery died, I mean, or YouTube said. Or YouTube said it's too fucking long. So I gotta try to keep this bitch under 10 minutes. Which means, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to speed through this. I wanted to be more in depth with each question, but I'm gonna speed through them, and this is how it's gonna be, okay? So I'm gonna talk fast, and hopefully you can keep up. If not, oh well. Okay, here we go. First question is from my first two questions are from Master Webs. First, if I were allowed to commit a serious crime just for the fun of it, and there were no consequences, what would it be? Um, rob a bank like Fort Knox. I want that money, and I'd want to slap George W. Bush real fucking hard. Pen style, just like that, you know? There we go. Second question from her is, what's the most macabre and original way I can think of killing someone? Um, a very slow, um, um, dehydration. I'd give them just enough water to keep them strung out for as long as possible. Um, and then, you know, I'd give them, like, other fluids for them to drink to slowly poison themselves, because, like, gasoline or something like that, because once they're really, really starving, they're gonna look to put any kind of fluid in their system. Um, yeah. Peter asks, why does America even recognize minorities? We're all Americans, um, nationality or race. And I, um, why do we do that? I, um, I think because um, we like to walk in eggshells. Everyone's afraid of getting sued, so um, we're like, you know, classifying everybody. We're all Americans, okay? If you're, if you're a citizen here, you're an American. You don't go to Finland and be like, oh, I'm an African Finnish, you know? No. You're a fucking American, you're an American, deal with it. Um, Cassie says, raw, and, um, to me, that's, like, her fucking Tourette's, so, Cassie, you need to fucking, um, go get a doctor, I'm sure there's some pills or shots you can take so you can get rid of those nervous tics and whatnot, and you won't be having those Tourette's dinosaur roars anymore. Boom. Um, next question, Jess Swindell asks, if, um, I had large breasts, uh, no, no, sorry, if girls with large breasts worked at Hooters, um, do girls with one leg work at IHOP? Yes. Uh, Massive Webs also asks, if I had the opportunity to go in space and see the wonders that no one else had ever seen, on one condition that, um, when I returned to Earth, I'd be rendered so dumb, I could never speak of it to anybody. Would I? Yes, if only when talking about space made me dumb, but every other time I was normal. There. Um, Jess Wendell also asks, is there a limit on fortune cookie predictions? Yes, there is. Fortune cookies have a shelf life of about 15 years. Um, however, by the time we get them, they are about two years expired. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, some dude named PJK, some douchebag, asks me, what's the ingredients to the Nasty Burger? Um, it's, it's simple. None of your fucking business. There. Um, Peace Sign asks, if I was a chicken and I had to cross the road, or more like a highway, what would I contemplate before getting smushed like a chicken fillet? Um, I would just contemplate whether I'm fast enough to dodge the traffic, because I'm most likely running because I'm at a KFC factory and they're fucking fucking up those chickens, if you've seen those videos. They cheat those chickens really bad in those factories. Yeah. Uh, Marcus asks, sometimes when he, speaking of Marcus, when he takes big power crafts, he gets a boner. He's asking me, does that make him gay? Yes, it does, fag. Yeah. Okay, um, Okinawa asks, What does it mean to allow another person to fully love you? Um, I would say, oh, that's a good, tough question. I had more to it before, but I'm just saying right now, trust, openness, communication. Gotta have it both ways, um, and if you want someone to love you, it's just gonna happen, okay? Um, also, if I had to choose between, she also says, if I choose between protecting the environment or helping the impoverished, I would choose the environment, because by helping the environment, I'm also helping the impoverished, so that kills two birds and one stone. Preston, the fucking sick bastard, asks, if I had to choose between gay oral sex or an Oedipus Rex syndrome fulfillment, which would I choose? I'm not going to fuck my mom, so I guess I have to choose the former, not the latter. Um, even though that's not very appealing either, but those are the choices, I choose the former. Uh, Preston also asked, if I woke up one day and I was white, what would I do? I would get a down payment on a house, get myself a nice big house, and I'm done with it, because white people get good credit. Yeah. Uh, Morbid asked, if I was a lobster and I survived being cooked, what would I do to the person that was about to eat you? I would um, probably go ahead and go for his throat, rip out his throat, and run for the door. Um, she also asked, if I was an angler fish, what would I do with that little light? I would shut it off because uh, I owe too much money to the light company, and, you know, I gotta pay rent, so I'd probably shut that shit off so I ain't wasting my electricity bill. There. Uh, she also asked, if it was a circle of life, where does the circle start? It started in Elton John singing, you know, for the Lion King movie. There you go. Um, <laughs> Morbid also asked, how does it feel when I'm prego? Um, it hurt, okay? It hurt like a motherfucker. And popping out a baby, you know, is, is no fucking joke. It's fucking painful. Um, 
Torok asked, how big are my manly bits? My manly bits, she means hands, of course. That's what she's saying. Hands, um, from the palm of the hand to the, the middle finger, um, um, to eight inches. Yeah, um, uh, she also asked, can I move my penis left and right? Uh, Australians, you're fucking weird. No, I can't. I can move it up and down. It does that thing. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. Preston asks, if I was stuck in a self-sustaining room for all eternity, and everything was taken care of for me, and I can email my friends, blah, 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 but I can only listen to two kinds of mu two kinds of things for the rest of my life, um, a mixtape of, um, Celine Dion, or, and, and Weird Al mixed together, or George Bush talking, easy. I'll choose Celine Dion and Weird Al for the rest of my life, easy, boom. Um, Preston also asks, if I was faced with Cujo and Pennywise the Clown, who would I choose to kill me? Um, first of all, I'm thug nasty. Ain't nobody fucking killing me. So, um, that's, n that's never gonna happen. Cujo would get his, well, I kick him in his fucking doggy balls. Then I grab him by his tail and beat, use him to beat the shit out of Pennywise the Clown. And Pennywise the Clown's got fucked up teeth. So I just fucking get a dentist after him and then he'd leave me the fuck alone. Boom. Cloud asks, um, if I was going camping with him and he told me he had a large boil on his neck and he was dying of cancer, had a week left to live, and the last thing he wanted to do was to take me deep in the woods and make love to my ass until I died, um, would I let him? Um, I would say yes, but being that he never met me in person, I would just hire some gay guy who looks a lot like me and, um, have that person, um, you know, fell in for me and do what he needs to do. This way he feels fulfilled, okay? There you go. Um, now, the next question I have here um, is um, if I, what would I do if my if all my aspirations were crushed and I had no chance to ever have them accomplished? What would I do? Um, oh, how, you know, I would um, be on YouTube making a video asking you motherfuckers to answer 50 questions for me or ask 50 questions for me to answer, which is what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Um, Cloud also asked, where is Waldo? Waldo became Muslim. Waldo is a Muslim and he lives with Osama bin Laden. You find Waldo, you find, um, bin Laden, bomb them both. There. Um, question 27. If I had an endeavor that would cost about 25 grand, um, and I uh, found in a saddlebag with exactly 25 grand in it, uh, no, no, sorry, Preston asked, if I had a saddlebag, I had, if I had an endeavor, sorry, that cost about 25 grand, and I also found a saddlebag that had 25 grand in it, um, would I turn it into the police? will keep it. Um, the catch is, if I keep it, I um, won't get into trouble, but then um, by endeavor will make me money, but I'll lose the one of my life. Um, well, I would return the money, and I'd hope that um, no one return, claims that money so I get the money back. This way I break even on that 25 grand, and I keep my woman, and I make a millionaire. Boom. Um, Preston also asked, uh, would I rather get fucked by a small pony? Or would I put it in the ass of a full-grown count with that chronic diarrhea? You're a sick fuck, Preston, by the way. Um, but I am not getting myself fucked by a horse uh, or a pony. I saw that movie, Two Dudes, One Horse. It's not a pretty outcome at the end. The dude died, um, so, and I'm not about him. Uh, I'm not Jake. So I would um, most likely be top, which means I'd be fucking a cow. But I would time it so that... Um, uh, between diarrhea outbursts, outbreaks, I guess you could say, and I'd wear a full body condom, and I'd give that cow an enema, um, just to clean him out, and then, yeah, there you go, boom, uh, let's see, um, this chick named Emily asks, where do babies come from? Babies come from when the parents, they, um, they go to the dance called the horizontal mambo, during this horizontal mambo, uh, the mom and daddy, you know, they do their thing, and they get spied on by a stork. The stork sees what they're doing, flies off to a baby-making factory, comes back about nine months with a baby that looks just like mommy and daddy. There you go. Uh, let's see. Question 30. She asked me, um, how, Emily, same Emily asks, how do I know, um, how does she, how do I know when I'm in love? She thinks she's in love right now, but she's not sure, and how, can it be defined? Um, it can be defined, but it's different from person to person. What I feel like when I'm in love is different from what other people feel. I get certain sensations and whatnot. I can tell you one thing, for example, is that when I'm really in love with somebody, the last thing I think about is just this hardcore pornographic thoughts. It's just, just not what I think at all. Um, and I'm running out of time, so I'm stopping here at question 30. And I'm going to make a part 2, and I'm going to upload both to YouTube. So, um, keep it, you know, be right back. Boom, 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 boom.